Hi gang, it's Miss Patty here at the Pomo School Library. We're wrapping up our um, friendship series in Miss Patty's Picks. Today we're going to be reading A Weekend with Wendell by Kevin Henkes. Um, this is a really great story. I loved it because, you know, they don't start out getting along very well. So for a friendship series, <laughs> I figured that this is more of like a lesson. You know, the best way to make friends with somebody is to find some common ground, but mostly laughing and uh, having fun and showing kindness. But this weekend with Wendell doesn't exactly start out that way. Let's hear this story. A Weekend with Wendell by Kevin Henkes. On Friday afternoon, Wendell's parents dropped him off at Sophie's house. Wendell's going to spend the weekend with us, said Sophie's mother, while his parents visit relatives out of town. Oh, boy, said Wendell. Sophie didn't say anything. After a snack, Sophie helped Wendell carry his sleeping bag and suitcase upstairs. Well, what are we going to do now? asked Wendell. Do you have any toys? Sophie pointed to her toy chest. Is that all you got? said Wendell. I've got a million times more than that. What else is there to do around here? We could play house, said Sophie. Well, only if I can make the rules, said Wendell. So they played house and Wendell made the rules. He was the father, the mother, and the five children. Sophie was the dog. And they played hospital. Wendell was the doctor and the nurse and the patient. Sophie was the desk clerk. And when they pretended they were working in a bakery, Wendell was the baker and Sophie was a sweet roll. Isn't this fun? said Wendell. Sophie didn't say anything. At dinner, Wendell said that he was allergic to anything green, so he didn't have to eat his vegetables. And then when Sophie wasn't looking, he scooped the whipped cream off of her dessert. When is Wendell going to leave? whispered Sophie. Soon, said Mother. Soon, said Father. After Sophie's parents tucked Sophie in bed, zipped Wendell in his sleeping bag, kissed them both, and turned off the light, Wendell gra grabbed his flashlight and he shone it right in Sophie's eyes. See you tomorrow, he was smiling. Sophie shut her eyes. I can't wait for Wendell to go home, she said to herself. On Saturday morning, when Sophie woke up, there was a lumpy blue monster jumping up and down on her bed. It was Wendell. She felt something pinch her leg at breakfast. It was Wendell. She heard scary noises coming from the broom closet. It was Wendell. Wendell used Sophie's crayons and left them on the porch so they melted. At lunch, Wendell finger-painted with his peanut butter and jelly. Isn't this fun, said Wendell. Sophie didn't say anything. When is Wendell leaving, whispered Sophie. Soon, said Mother. Soon, said Father. At bedtime, when Sophie put her head on her pillow, she heard something crunch. It was a note from Wendell. It said, see you tomorrow. Sophie shut her eyes. I can't wait for Wendell to go home, she said to herself. Before Wendell's parents picked him up on Sunday morning, he tried to make a long-distance call. Is this the North Pole? He wrote his name on the bathroom mirror with toothpaste. He gave Sophie a new hairdo with shaving cream. Hmm. Want to go outside to help me wash this off? 
asked Sophie. We could play firefighter. Oh, boy, said Wendell. So they played firefighter, and Sophie made the rules. She was the fire chief. Wendell was the burning building. Isn't this fun, said Sophie. Wendell didn't say anything. Do I get to be the fire chief? asked Wendell. Maybe, said Sophie. Starting to look like maybe Wendell's getting a taste of his own medicine. And here they are, playing together. And Wendell doesn't look too happy until... Soon, Wendell and Sophie didn't even care who was the fire chief or who was the burning building. Looks like they're starting to have fun in the sun, you guys. Time to go, said Sophie's mother. Time to go, said Sophie's father. Already, said Wendell. Already, said Sophie. And when is Wendell coming back? asked Sophie. Never, said mother. <laughs> Never, said father. <laughs> oh. And that afternoon, when Wendell unpacked his suitcase, he heard something crunch. It was a note from Sophie. It said, I hope to see you soon. <laughs> and that was a weekend with Wendell, boys and girls. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I think that maybe you might have learned a little something. Have a great day.